Hey, what's up guys? In this video we're going to be going over the fundamental waveforms in synthesis and in signal generation. Uh, these are the basic audio shapes and there are four of them and they're all pretty important. So we're going to be using Serum because we can kind of create mathematically pure things easily. So I'm going to go over to my enter formula, hit singles, go to sine. There's the, the mathematical formula for a sine wave for those who know how to math. Uh, and this is what it is. This is the uh, the duty cycle, and this repeats over and over again as long as you hold the key. These are our crossover points, and we have negative one, and plus one, and then zero in the middle here. And it looks and sounds like this, right? It repeats. It repeats. There's our fundamental, and uh, this is the basic fundamental waveform in the universe. Uh, everything is a sine wave, uh, everything from like what comes out of your wall uh, to your car engine, everything can be represented as a sine wave at, a, at different frequencies, but everything can be represented as a sine wave. And uh, it's the first one, you know, when you think. It, like, it has a harmon like no harmonics, it has a fundamental, no harmonics. We're going to be going on to the next one. And you'll notice that there's a point here which is negative one and then plus one. And how it gets to that, it's uh, logarithmic. It, it's kind of smooth. Uh, I, I believe that's thanks to pi. Uh, and it's curved, right? So this is the sine wave. We have another one that's kind of similar that's also important, is a uh, triangle wave, right? So the plus one and negative one, it's very linear, linear, or yeah, it's, yeah, linear, just a straight shoot to negative one in the crossover. Somewhat similar, but you'll notice that it has a bit more harmonics. Right? There's the duty cycle. Looks a little different. You'll notice because it has these non-smooth kind of transitions between, uh, you know, negative one and one in the amplitude, uh, you'll have these harmonics, and here they are. Right? And uh, you can kind of do something which we might go over later is you can create a triangle wave with nothing but sine waves if you plot them out in uh, the corresponding um, harmonic bins up here. Uh, yeah, and triangles are somewhat important. The next one that is exceptionally important is square waves. Um, and this is what it looks like. Well, let me just do that. Right, and this is represented as uh, data. So this is a negative one and plus one. Also zero and one. So it can be represented in binary because it's either off or on. And this is kind of what happens in data transmission. The data transmission, you can afford to have all this extra data. It can be noisy, it can be like imperfect, but you know, you can stretch that over many thousands of kilometers and it's either a zero or a one. So it's very useful. This is in everything. This is in your uh, internet connection, your, you know, the, the video that you're watching right now, uh, the audio going from my USB mic through my USB cable. It's all digital and it looks somewhat like this, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, square waves have kind of very rich harmonics uh, because of how kind of abrupt they change in amplitude, uh, kind of even and odd. And uh, they're much like the next one we're going to go over are the basis of audio synthesis. And I think that's kind of important to point out. Uh, the next shape, right? So think of this like, yeah, negative one plus one. There's no transition between the two it's very like it's either you're one or the other there's no in-betweens uh and yeah there you have it uh the next one is any synth you start up starts with a square wave no a, a, sorry a sawtooth wave now this look doesn't look like a sawtooth wave because the phase is uh, a little bit different but if we look at it here there is our saw and it looks like a sawtooth. It can ramp up or it can ramp down. And uh, they look like the teeth of a saw. And they have very uniform 
uh, even and odd harmonics. It's a very rich sound, which is why it's a starting point for subtractive synthesis. And from there, you can filter in and out. But uh, yeah, it's all about it's all about duty cycle, the shape, uh, the transition between plus one and negative one, whatever that might be uh, in these basic sounds. And uh, pitch, um, how smushed together or spread out the, the duty cycle is. And uh, yeah. Um, and anything else is, uh, is basically a combination of the four right and uh, once we get into additive synthesis which is basically I'll show you quite briefly if we go to our sine wave and we go over here this is our uh, additive uh, this is the fundamental this first bin right here and we can add in more and more sine waves to create right just think of each one of these as a sine wave it takes you know a whole bunch of sine waves to make a saw waves uh, make a saw wave and uh, yeah you can do that so you know if you want to get down to it a sine wave is like the fundamental thing in everything that we hear uh, and yeah all right uh, hope you learn stuff uh, take care and have a good one